Hey, good afternoon. Um, just climbed down of the shower. I highly recommend uh, washing your ass on a regular basis. As a man, <laughs> it'll improve your chances of just about everything to include a job and uh, female contact. Um, nah. I'll get into some of the uh, uh, things you can do when you're in survival mode. I'm trying to kick my slipper off underneath the desk. So there we go. I finally kicked it off. Um, well, I've been waiting to do this uh, video, and it's probably going to cause me a lot of grief. But um, I need to tell you the truth to you as men, as a man to man. Um, this has to deal with sex. And it has to deal with sex and... Uh, women in general and in particular sex and single mothers and this is specifically for the men go their own way community not this is not for the simps because this won't matter to the simps um if you don't know anything about biological mechanics meaning that when a woman has a baby in two different ways, how it affects her private parts, you're in for a big surprise. Uh, I was formerly married, spent 30 years married, have two sons, and if you as a woman don't think that sex is an extremely important part of a relationship, you're just a typical modern woman. You're just delusion. Um, for you guys that are men, and this is especially critical for the MGTOW, um, you have a right to know what you're getting into. And I mean that physically, getting into. Wait, hang on. All right, so. Um, if you as a man, and I'm a big guy, 6'2", 235, 240 pounds, well proportioned uh, if you don't think after my XY had our first child natural childbirth that things changed you're wrong and then add to that a second child now if you think you as a man can compete with a 6 to 12 to 15 pound baby you're mistaken <laughs> and uh, if you think your equipment can, uh, your male equipment can compete with the 6 to 8 to 10 to 12 to 15 pound baby, bah, you're seriously mistaken. So if you've ever heard the term throwing a hot, hot dog down the hallway, that's what I'm talking about. And you know what? A lot of single moms, I don't want to talk about that. Uh, I hear a lot of them talking about it's called churning butter. Anyways, um, this is graphic. This is not for kids. This is not for anything else. But if you do not think that the physical component of being in a relationship is important, you're wrong. If you're a modern woman and you have a child, you're not anywhere near as good enough as a woman without a child. I'm not lying to you. I don't care how much money you make. I don't care what you think about your career or your influencing or any of that other stuff. I'm telling you again, if you're a modern woman, especially if you're a single mom and you have a child, you're not desirable. On top of that, it depends, at, depends on how you had your child. Did you have a C-section? Or did that child come walking out of that vagina straight up? If you don't think that has any impact on sex after the fact, you're out of your mind. I'm telling you from experience, it has a lot to do with that part of life. So, it is what it is. This is not to demean anybody. This is just to be honest 
about what happens after a woman has a child. And you single moms with two or three kids acting like I not only got to sign up for you, but that worn out pooter, you're out of your fucking mind. Hardly anybody, if anybody, will ever talk about that. But it is what it is. Again, I'm looking out for average men. I'm not looking out for Don Juan or Mr. Super Ninja, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Super Ultra Top 1, 4% of the guys. No. Talking about the rest of us in the 70, 80%. Uh, don't lie to her. Uh, there's exercises they can do. I think they're called uh, Kegel or Kurgle or Kegel or something where they try to get that thing back into shape. But if you think you, as a man, are going to be able to compete with them, you're out of your fucking mind. Sex matters. It is what it is. Stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. If you can't, take care of yourself. And this is for the MGTOW community. Do not ever settle for a single mother. They're not worth the effort. They're delusional. All right? Bye-bye.